But the hadith doesn't stop. The hadith has a very saddening continuation, which we should seek refuge with Allah from. وَإِذَا أَبْغَضَ عَبْدًا And if Allah hates a slave, He also calls on Jibreel. And He informs Jibreel that He hates this person. So He will command Jibreel to hate this person. Then Jibreel will tell the angels to hate this person. Then Allah will put hatred for him on earth. لا إله إلا الله Imagine you walking upon the planet, the face of the earth which Allah created, while Allah hates you, and the angels hate you, and Jibreel hates you, and the righteous people hate you. A sad state for a human being. And when we could be one of those as well. If you are prideful, arrogant, you are qualified for this hatred, because Allah does not love كُلَّ مُتَكَبِّرٍ uh, Jabbar, Allah does not love the arrogant, the prideful. If you go against the Sunnah, then Allah does not love those who go against the Sunnah. If you don't observe Taqwa and you don't observe Ihsan and you don't observe Tawbah and Tatahur, then again we are disqualified. If you, many things which we can mention, many things which will bring about Allah's hatred and deprive, of, deprive us of Allah's love. It's a very sensitive situation, meaning right now, right now, you have to be one of these two. Either Allah loves you or He doesn't. But there's always good news, even for those people whom we can be amongst. It's not too late because you're alive. It's not too late because you're breathing. Even if you led a life of someone who had attained Allah's hatred, if you were to return to Allah, then Allah will love you and be happier. He will be so happy with your tawbah than a man who lost his mount in the desert, upon it was his food and his drink, and then he waited under a tree for death. And all of a sudden he opened his eyes and he sees his camel or his horse or whatever that was right in front of him. And he gets so happy, he said, Allahumma anta abdi wa ana rabbuka. Oh Allah, you are my slave and I am your Lord. Kufur. He said a statement of kufur, but the Prophet said, Akhta'a min shiddatil farah. He made a mistake because he's so happy. You know when you're so happy that you may say things against what you want to say? When you're so happy that you just, you know, you say words that mean nothing to anyone? Allah is happier when you return to Him than that person. What else do we want? For how long are we going to stay away from Allah? For how long are we going to lead the life of the heedless? For how long are we going to go against the Sunnah? What are you waiting for? Death? Death? حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتْ قَالَ رَبِّ ارْجِعُونَ لَعَلِّي أَعْمَلُ صَالِحًا فِي مَا تَرَكْتْ كَلَّا Until when death comes to one of them, you say, Oh Allah, allow me to return so that I may do good in that which I left behind. And it will be said to him, No, it's only a word. إِنَّهَا كَلِمَةٌ هُوَ قَائِلُهَا It's nothing but a wish and a word he will have. It will not be fulfilled. Let us not wait for death, ya akhwan.